Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of LMM's 360 degree videos. Today you join us on the Apedale Light Railway as we prepare to take Merlin, a steam outline Hudson monstrosity from a very rapid trip from Silverdale Station down to Adil Road. So without any further ado, let us take the handbrake off, which is the wheel down here, like that. Put it into forward gear, slowly bring this across, give it a horn, beep, and away we go. Slowly giving it a little bit more throttle, open it up a bit more, that's full drive, and now, yes, that is full speed, That that is it, that is all this does. But it is a glorious day in Staffordshire, and what a nice, gentle and relaxed way to poodle through the countryside on something that's trying to pretend to be a steam engine. It's not. It, it's not a steam engine. So away we go. Out of the station overlooking some of the many containers and things that hold more treasures and locomotives here at the Apedale Railway. Behind me I've got the man riders. And uh, yep. Yep. Now, and over there is the start of the yellow token section, which is this one here, which I've got in the cab, so we're good. And we can go, and you may be thinking, come on, open it up. It's all it's got. There is no more. This is full power, full chat, full. It, this doesn't go any further. This is as far as it, this is it. This is a locomotive, an absolute top whack. But it's a nice way just to enjoy the eight hour railway, isn't it? curve around past one of the other engine sheds behind us over there. We see the sign there for the field token end, that's the, the red one which we've got the other half for. And as we come through here, over on that side you'll see some of the other locomotives and projects that are being worked on over here. So people are getting ready to weld up some wagons, there's a train of wagons there. bits of something, I don't know what there. And then looking over in a that way direction, you'll see Edgar, one of the steam engines based here. Which, funny enough, is a new build. It's not a, an old locomotive. I don't know. Ah, just see they've been firing up the Hudswell there as well. That is a mighty, look at that go. Oh, look at the clag from that. What a mighty little thing that is. A Ruston there. A very late simplex as well behind Edgar over there big big shed there I mean this is a what they have wonderful facilities here pretty much every one of their working locomotives is stored undercover and it gives you a size of just how big this shed is I mean it might also make the shed feel larger than it is in the fact that it takes us like a week to go past it it's also nice to visit here because there's a footpath just behind me there so you can come as a visitor you could walk along and watch the trains go by it's very very pleasant this is very slow. It's it's very, very slow. It's also a locomotive that you don't really have to do anything with. I've notched it into forward gear. And it's so slow that nothing's really changing in front of me, so it's just Yeah, carry on. And we are still chundering on slowly quite nice as far the line because you've got the woods either side there's the driveway that comes into the site just over there and behind us we can see the siding known as Brian yes yes that's what they call the siding uh, and a bit of smoke emanating from the diesel engine and the exhaust kind of wrapping itself around us but it's a lovely day to trundle along this line and the line here isn't that long it's lovely late I mean it's a lovely smooth bit of track but on this thing for the first time ever, I'm glad the railway is not any longer. It's just not very fast. My view at the front, well, you can look through there, you've seen the chimney, chimney and the dome. Yep, this is what it is. It's very nice we're in the middle of summer in the UK when we film this and so the trees are in blossom well some of the trees are in blossom 
everything's green, it's all very nice, it's just a, a nice day to pooling along, not really doing anything. And of course with us filming with this, it's the most it's done in a long time because it's so slow, they don't normally use it for anything. Isn't this lovely, just trundling along here, looking at the trees, looking at the trees. When they do special events quite often, they'll have vintage vehicles on this road alongside their trains. So that's, that's quite nice. It is faster to walk. I'm not joking. It's faster to walk. I've got Charles here filming for me today and when we forgot something, I sent him off and he got there quicker than I did with this. And he didn't run, he just walked. It's, it's slow. Go on. Not much further to go. And up ahead, you can see the run round loop here for Eightdale Road. It's, uh, this is the current terminus of the line, but they have big plans to go further that way. This will be very exciting and make it much more of a run. So I'm just going to throttle back as we come here to control our heady speed. It is rather rapid, like terrifyingly fast. point there and a tiny tiny seat as I'm pretending it is. Through the points, just increase the speed a little bit so we don't fall asleep. And here we go, coming round now into Eightdale Road. Yep, still coming into the platform, still coming into the platform. Yep, the train's finally in the platform, so we can throttle all the way back there. And uh, there we go. Bring things to a stop. Wind the handbrake on. Oh. And that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed coming for a ride on Merlin, the slowest locomotive I've ever driven. And if you haven't enjoyed this one, how about checking out some of our other 360 degree videos? And of course, if you want to know more about this locomotive, or the 8 Light Railway, or the Moxley Trust, then the links are all in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.